Hi all, Mohammad Snajmi here and today I have for you one of Aesop's fables, The Travelers and the Bear. Now there's a children's version of this story as well, but obviously I'm not going to read that to you. What I'm going to read instead is the Thomas Bewick version uh, with its uh, moral application towards the end and then I will read uh, Jeffrey Staler version uh, in the form of a poem. So without further ado, let's get into it. The Travelers and the Bear Two men being to travel through a forest together, mutually engaged to stand by each other in any danger they might encounter on the way. They had not gone far before a bear rushed towards them out of a thicket, upon which one of them, being a light nimble fellow, got up the branches of a tree and kept out of sight, the other falling flat upon his face and holding his breath lay still, while the bear came up and smelled at him. But not discovering any marks of life, he walked quietly away again to the place of his retreat, without doing the man the least harm. When all was over, the spark who had climbed the tree came down to his companion and asked him what the bear said to him. For says he, I took notice that he clapped his mouth very close to your ear. Why, said the other, he advised me, for the future, never to place any confidence in such a faithless poltroon as you. Moral of the story, misfortune is the true test of friendship. There is nothing in this world that can lighten our burdens in passing through it or contribute more to our happiness than our knowing we have a true friend who will commiserate with and help us in our misfortunes and on whom we can rely in times of difficulty and distress. There are many indeed, who with fair words pretend to that character, and are ever ready to offer their services when there is no occasion for their help. But the real friend, like gold from the furnace, shines forth in his true luster, and with heart and hand is ever ready to succor us in times of tribulation and peril. It is on such only we ought to place a confidence in any undertaking of importance. For the man who is wholly actuated by the selfish, unsocial principle of caring only for himself is not fit to be associated with others of a more generous character. And he who will desert them in adversity ought not to be made a partaker of the prosperity of others. It therefore behooves us diligently to examine into the fidelity of those we have to deal with before we embark with them in any enterprise in which our lives and misfortunes and fortunes may be put to hazard by their breach of faith. And so the moral, misfortune truly tests true friendship. And now, Jeffrey Staler poem. Two travelers one morning set out from their home. It might be from Sparta, from Athens or Rome. It matters not which, but agreed it is said should danger arise to lend each other aid. But scarce was this done, when forth rushing a main, 
sprung a bear from a wood towards these travellers twain. Then one of our heroes, with courage immense, climbed into a tree and there found his defence. The other fell flat to the earth with his dread, when the bear came and smelt him and thought he was dead. So not liking the carcass, away trotted he, when straight our brave hero descended the tree. Then said he, I can't think what the bear could propose, when so close to his ear he presented the nose. Why this, said the other, he told me to do, to beware for the future of cowards like you.